and Firewatch on the Badger's Den. Last episode we kind of found out who, well we found people who are watching us. We've stolen something from them and then they burnt the site down as we left so they obviously were expecting us. That clock is not working. Um, now the thing's beeping again. This receiver just picked something up. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. It's champ. Find out. All right, I'm on my way now. So. What I just picked up? I uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. What? I am getting drunk. drunk. Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. Henry. Sounds like a woman. What? They were harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave this evening. Oh, I like what you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Alright, so... So the radio is now off. And we need to go and find out why this is beeping. It wants us to head north. Oh. Oh, it's got a compass on it. So it wants us to head this way. Find the bear. Can we? I need that. That's really burning, isn't it? Right, getting... quicker. What? Oh. What? Ah. Well, that was dumb. Oh, it's the cave. It's the cave. B, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. It was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Well, it probably was a trap. Fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, K-452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, dun dun dun! Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. The fuck? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. How the fuck do we get back out? What was that? Damaged tree. Ah! -ha! Ah! I don't get up there.
There we go. I can get up here and I can get across back to my hut. Chop down. He makes more manly sounds. Plus he looks a lot more manly. Hover over. I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Oh, great. So he's going to have taken all our research. Tried to find out what's happened with the radios, maybe. Excuse me. Well, oh, no. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Left it. Set player taped my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see, see what's, what's on it. Seventy-eight. What the fuck is happening? Why is it smoky? He's got. So your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? It's quite smoky. That wasn't me. So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person so, breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yes. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Alright, alright, we find the two girls. I can't, what do you reckon? We find them in the cave? Where was the cave? The cave was near the outhouse. There's the outhouse. Uh, falling down tree. That score. <laughs> I'm hugely entertained, aren't I? Simple maths. Oh no, I lost that bubble. Brave man for jumping down like that. But I did screw both my knees up in a motorbike accident, so. So, start from the craziness and the weird plot story, I'd still. Hey, you. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be the lookout. You're just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course they hmm. didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Please. 
I like how the echo, the thing echoes. Okay, if echoes, use key. They do different types of key. Mm, sorry. We're locked in here now, aren't we? Delilah, someone locked me in the cage. Is this thing working? Oh no. Delilah, send someone to the cage, please! Give me damn reception. Oh, it's that crack out of the thing. Jesus, this is a big cave. So, there's a long drop. Squeeze through. Right, okay, so we're in the cave. Someone's locked us in the cave, probably because they want us to die. We're not an expert caver, so this is probably a very bad idea. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. That sounds right for a cave. Yes. Is anybody down there? It's a shoe. Can we get down there? Oh shit, we can zoom. He has Mega Man eyesight. Is it Mega Man? So we're exploring. So, right, we're in a cave. Delilah thinks we've double crossed her. They're trying. The two are trying to set us up for burning their site because they we found out that we're onto them. Maybe it is aliens. This looks like an exit. Where are we? What the fuck's that? You go away. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? I found a shoe! No, it, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to two ports and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. That doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh. Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Oh. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... Sorry. But he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. He's got some climbing gear, so sh the shoes. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, I used to have one of them. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know. 
What? What? Climb on five. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that. What? Part. This is stuff I used to make as a child. We'll keep that. You made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Uh, uh, Nebraska. North part of Nebraska. Ain't, ain't no north and south. No, that's Dakota. No dress, I'll give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these. Well, they're my dad's and I don't want them to lose them. I don't want any more climbing on this trip. I thought you should have pretend to lose them, but... He also stole his dad's climbing equipment. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in the bracket. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, it, Sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Do I? I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. So, take that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad. Rest of the army. Can't mow lawn this summer. Oh gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, he sounds like quite a smart kid. kid that's worried. Seem like a, you know, wizard dad. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, yeah but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. Freddy Krueger? Pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. The Draculas. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah. This is all good, isn't it? Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Alright, we should probably leave this episode here and continue in the next episode. Um... So Stannis Titanium out from the Brian's Little Den.